Hello, hello. I'm Jack, and in this video, I'm going to continue with my my watch case. And uh, since I did already set up this machine in my last video, there's uh, just a few things we have to do before I can start milling. Now it needs to be fastened in some way, clamped here, and it needs to be centered on the table. So that when this rotates, it rotates around the center of the watch case as well. So let's see what we can find. This chuck here would be nice if I could use that one. Then I would just take my watch case, put it here, tighten it down, and then I could mill all the features without reclamping it. But now I don't have a way to uh, fasten or mount this one on my rotary table. So I have to find something else. So let's take the stuff here and let me show you. First, this copper ring needs to be raised from the table because otherwise I will mill into the table and I certainly, certainly don't want that. So I made this ring and it fits perfectly here. Just made of steel, nothing special. And then I need to center it. So I made this centering tool. It's a blued, so that's why it's uh, like black. Like that. It's it's not perfect, but it will help me center it a lot. Next step is to uh, fasten everything. And I don't have a machinist jack, uh, so I have to. Uh, I just used some round stock. Let's tighten it a bit. And then to turn the table, I need a handle. I didn't get the handle with the machine, uh, so I made one. Nothing special. And it goes into the hole here. That, and now I can use it to turn. To make sure it is centered, I'm going to use a dialed indicator. And now I can turn it and see if the dial moves. Five microns, maybe. Let me try tightening this a bit and loosening this, and maybe remove it all along and see if I can turn it. towards the dial indicator. Since it does move like one hundredth of a millimeter when I'm putting pressure on the handle, it is difficult to center it more precisely than that. So I think I will just have to leave with this position. Now it's time to center everything. Since this center hole here is 5 millimeter, I will use a 5 millimeter drill and put that in the spindle with a collet and then center it 
like that. Seems to be good. Now I'm going to set the stops here and here to make sure that the table doesn't move or if I move it myself I can easily just go back to the center position by uh, cranking the handle until I I get to the stop. And here. Like that. Now it's time to zero out the dials. Zero. Time for dinner. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I will lower this spindle a bit to get more clearance here. Since the size of the watch is going to be 37 millimeters, I need to reposition this table half of that uh, so that it cuts on the outside, and then plus half of the middle size, which is 2 millimeters. So it's 18 and a half plus 1, so 19 and a half millimeters as you turn on this table. One and two, six millimeters. One turn is two millimeters. Seven, eight, nineteen, and then a half. So one, two, three, four, five, ten. When I moved the mill outwards here, and I'm going to mill. I need some I need to know how much at what angle I should stop. And that angle should be this one here, like that, which is 55 degrees. Before I start milling here, I need to know that I'm not going to mill or turn this rotor table too much. And I can use the stops for that. So I set the stop there. Or here, for example, like that, and then the handle will make it stop. So it was on 90 degrees, and I'm turning it, it will allow me to turn it to 55 degrees before stopping. Let's
let's do that with the other side as well and 35 looks good now to prevent this table from moving I will tighten it down with this screw here and now it's time for the fun stuff the actual milling I made a mistake. I calculated the angle wrong. The angle shouldn't be 55 degrees from this side. It should be from where the mill is. So it should only be 35 from minus, not 90 minus 35 degrees. So I milled way too much. Let me think, is it uh, fixable? The lugs must be 18 millimeters. That's way too too small for the straps to fit. Um, I think it's fixable. Uh, the question is, should I do the same mistake on the other side so it's symmetrical? Or should I just maybe mill this depth all the way around um, or should I just leave it as it is on this side and then uh, leave with an asymmetrical watch I think I have to think about it over the weekend and come back to you until then I think it will help if you could subscribe and like and comment on my video I think that could salvage the watch